what's up guys so the great iphone x is out but not a lot of applications are optimized yet to work in it so i've compiled a list of applications that add great features to your phone and are designed to work in iphone x so let's get started the first app here is Alide. it's a camera app which adds manual control to your iphone's camera and this app also utilizes the extra space in the screen to provide more options in your fingers so on the right side, you'll find a couple of layers where you can find manual controls. Tapping this triangle will give you access to the manual controls. So you can change the ISO, focus and the white balance. Notice how you have access to all of these options at once. Having these options will make the whole process of taking a photo very quick and easy. Pulling this bar up will reveal additional options including capability to capture raw photo. And from settings, you can change the layout of these options for your ease. So overall, I think it's a must-have app because of the clever design and feature it provides. Next up is Darkroom. It's a photo editor for iPhone updated to fully use the hardware of iPhone X. So it's updated to use the full screen of iPhone X. It has also added support for full color depth and contrast for the stunning display that has million to one contrast ratio and it's powered by Metal 2 rendering which has speed gains and improved graphics. The UI design makes the whole process of editing a lot smoother in this app. Just for rotation and crop, look at the options you have and how well they are placed. This app is also famous for quality and variety of filter it provides. You'll also be able to play with RGB curves to adjust color which is a very powerful tool for editing. But most features is only for paid users and free users don't have much in this app. And if you are looking for something free, Ultralight provides more tools in a clean UI. You have the same curve feature but in slider format. You can point where you want the saturation and temperature to be. You can play with color to change individual saturation and hue. In terms of filters, you get a few for free. Either way, any one of these apps will be a perfect editing tool to edit photos in your iPhone X. Next up on the list is an augmented reality app called Holo. So iPhone 8 and X has the fastest processor in any mobile smartphone and this app will be able to fully use it. Holo allows you to add augmented reality stickers in your environment and it works pretty well. It blends in well with the surrounding and lightning conditions. You can also change the size and for each sticker you have many other versions. After you have placed a sticker, you can also record a video of it to make it look like it's actually there. So just bring your creativity out and create some fun videos using this one. Another AR app that caught my eye was Housecraft. It's similar to Holo but this one lets you add furniture. It's just a cool furniture arrangement app that lets you see how placing any object would look beforehand. The next app here is Tweakbox. So Tweakbox is like App Store but for tweaked or hacked apps. So you can download apps like Movies SD which will allow you to watch movies for free and also without ad. Or this tweaked version of YouTube one which adds background play and download to your normal YouTube app. You'll also be able to download Cydia tweaks that you can install without jailbreaking and also some paid apps which you can download for free. But this app is not there in App Store for you to download. You need to follow a different method that's easy and can be done in 5 minutes. I will link it below for you guys. The next app on this list is Documents. So iOS 11 does give you a file explorer, but Documents by Riddle is what you really need. It really can become your hub for all files. It's not only a file management app but also a download manager. You can download any file from the internet just like a computer. You can easily access the browser anytime within this app. And for files, it supports many video, audio and document formats like PDF, Excel, Word. So you'll be able to view those files right from this app. And the PDF viewer here has the ability to edit them too, which is very good. And another interesting feature is cloud syncing. So you can add all your cloud accounts and be able to 
download and access those files from this app. You can store your files from cloud in your iPhone locally and view it offline as well. And next comes add-ons which can add more features if you need. File management is a very core part of productivity which iOS has lacked since years and this app makes iPhone very similar to Android now. Next one is a very useful app called Launch Center Pro. Since past few iterations of iOS, Apple has added features like force touch, wizard to speed things up, view information with a swipe or perform actions faster. And Launch Center Pro gives you the power to add custom tasks there so you can add this app in your dock and also in your widget page. Then you can choose what options does force touch give you. It also supports app actions like launching Instagram camera, searching in Google and sending messages to someone. And the same goes for today's widget. So there are around 12 shortcuts that you can have access from your home screen with just a swipe or a click. And that's pretty useful. So just try this one. I'm sure you'll love it. So that's all about this video guys. I'll be back with more apps, tweaks and hacks. So stay subscribed and see you guys in the next one. Thank you.